let us understand as to whether current is a scalar or a vector quantity. To understand this, let's recall the definition of a vector quantity. By definition, vectors are physical quantities which have both magnitude and direction and they obey vector laws. That is very very important because vectors are not those quantities which just have magnitude and direction. Vectors should have magnitude and direction. In addition to that, vectors should also obey vector laws. In that sense, if we look at current, for example, here there are two branches where current entering is I1 and I2 here. Let us assume that current entering through this branch is 5 ampere and this is 3 ampere. And current leaving from here, say for example, it is 2 ampere leaving from here, this should be 6 ampere. Let us understand what these are later. For now, if you observe carefully here, in this branch, the current flowing is 5 ampere and also current has a direction here. Same with I2 also. Now with this alone, it is tempting us to understand that current could be a vector quantity, but the current here and here, they do not obey vector laws. Since they do not obey vector laws, these cannot be vector quantities. To make sense out of it, for example, if the branch instead of here, if it's moved somewhere like this. So even then the current flowing is I2, nothing much will change. Instead of branch I1 or branch kept here, the branch is moved somewhere like this. Even still, the current flowing will not change at all. Which means, here the direction is misleading because these do not obey vector laws. Hence, current is a scalar quantity.